One of the most interesting debates in football happens when a young player literally crashes into the scene and starts delivering the sort of performances most of the top players put in when they reach a certain age, which in football terms is called the peak age. Between the ages of 26 to 32, a footballer is supposed to be at the best stage of his career, loaded with enough experience, enough awareness and enhanced intelligence to do well on the field without having to deal with the coach or senior players hand-holding him through the basics on the training field. Indeed, if a player is still not able to get the basics right by the time he's 25, he'll never really become a top player and will slowly drift away, which is basically seeing him step down the ladder one step at a time before he understands that hanging up his boots is the way forward. It's definitely a great side to see a teenage player making waves in the game while being pitted against some of the best players of the era. Kylian Mbappe, for instance, was only 16 when he made his debut for AS Monaco. A few months later, it became clear that the young forward had something special about him, no wonder he would go on to become the second most expensive player in football history after sealing a move to Paris Saint-Germain, where he is a real menace alongside Neymar Jr. Similarly, Marcus Rashford started scoring for fun once he was handed his first team debut by then Manchester United manager Louis van Gaal. Such instances start out simple. A manager wants to give a precocious talent a peek at first team football just to see if a permanent transition can be made from reserves to first team football. In most of the cases, a young player would take his time to develop before he's fully ready to brace the storm that is first-team football. But in life, you do get to face a lot of anomalies. And that's also the case in football, where a fresh-faced rookie would take his chance and starts delivering performances that belie his age. In recent memory, quite a few players have already started doing that. Kai Havertz is one name that comes to mind, but talking about the Bayer Leverkusen man is a discussion for another day. Hello everyone, and welcome to yet another exciting video on your favourite channel Goalside. We aim to bring you a fresh perspective on everything related to football, so if you're new here, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Also, don't forget to look out for a hidden question in the video, and you'll get a chance to win a $100 Amazon gift card if you answer correctly. Today, we're going to talk about what should be considered a meteoric rise in top-level football for Erling Haaland. The Norwegian sensation has been scoring goals for fun in the last 12 months and is definitely one to keep an eye out for in the future. The teenage striker started this season on fire, scoring a bucket load of goals for Red Bull Salzburg in the Austrian Bundesliga. The youngster scored seven goals for the Austrians in the Champions League group stages where he also came up against the mighty Liverpool. Performances against the Reds confirmed to everyone that this is a very special player who has quite an eye for a goal. Indeed, Holland's goals to games ratio is off the charts. By now, you'd already know that the Norway international is making a killing out there ever since he made his debut for Borussia Dortmund after signing for the German giants in January for a transfer fee that's rare in the inflated football market these days. However, it's also clear that the youngster isn't going to stay at the Zignale Duna Park for a very long time. Befal Bay are pretty good and developing young players. Christian Pulisic made a name for himself at Gelsenkirchen before making a big money switch to Chelsea. In a similar vein, Jadon Sancho's stock has risen considerably in the past two years. The Englishman is likely to make a big move like his former USMNT teammate. A few years ago, Ousmane Dembele made a similar big money move to Barcelona, which makes it clear that Befal Bay are the perfect club for a talented young player to develop at before making a move to a bigger club where the notion of winning silverware is taken for granted. Just like his predecessors and current teammates, a time will come when Erling Haaland will be faced with a choice out of what we're sure is going to be quite a mouth-watering menu. Some of the leading European lights have been casting admiring glances at the Aduna, patiently watching the youngsters growth before they make an approach. Maybe this summer, Haaland will not be leaving the club, but perhaps the year 2021 would be the one where the youngster will make a big money move, thereby staking his claim as Norway's first ever global star since former manager Ola Gunnar Solskjaer. Here, we take a look at how Holland's future would look like. Moving to Bayern Munich Robert Lewandowski was playing at a freakishly high level when he was at Dortmund. The Poles scored goals for fun and even managed to score four in a Champions League game against Real Madrid. Such performances made way for a move to Bayern Munich, who have made quite a habit of poaching the best players from German teams, especially Bayfar Bay. The likes of Mats Hummels and Mario Goetze have made similar switches. Lewandowski's career is rapidly approaching its twilight stages and Bayern Munich might already be looking at Holland's development. While the Bavarians have not really made their case for now, it wouldn't be surprising to see them trying to snatch another finished product from their bitter rivals. Chances of that happening. At present, it might be unlikely, given the fact that the reigning German champions are more focused on signing Leroy Sané. A move to Paris Saint-Germain? 
Okay, this might seem that we're literally taking the cake here, but the cash-laden Ligue 1 giants are always looking out there searching for the next big thing, and it would actually make sense for the French giants to sign Holland, given the fact that Edinson Cavani's career at Parc des Princes is pretty much over. The Uruguayan will not be given a new deal, while Mbappe and Neymar might not be around for long. From a purely sporting standpoint, a move for the Norwegian would guarantee them a goal threat in the starting lineup for years to come. Moreover, PSG would be able to stump up the right amount of cash to convince Mino Raiola into letting his client know that a move to France would be the right one, even though it would raise quite a few eyebrows. Chances of this happening? With PSG, you never know. They might go all out for him, or might move on to a player who's already developed and is a world beater. Juventus then. The Italian Serie A giants are definitely in dire need of a striker. Cristiano Ronaldo might have made quite a few records already, but the Portugal international's career is all set to ride off into the sunset. Moreover, the Bianconeri can no longer rely on Gonzalo Higuain to come up with the goods. The reigning Italian champions have assembled quite a squad, and Holland would be the final piece of the puzzle that leads to potential Champions League glory. Last year, the old lady did try to sign Romelu Lukaku, but the striker eventually signed for Internazionale and Maurizio Sarri's outfit might want to make a move for the young Norwegian who has the potential to develop further and become an even better and far more complete striker than the Belgian. Chances of that happening? While Juventus have already splashed a lot of cash on players, the old lady is definitely going to make an approach, but might find it hard to offer a lucrative financial package the likes of which teams from England and Spain can offer. The blue side of Manchester? The citizens have definitely become quite a force to be reckoned with under the astute guidance of Pep Guardiola. While Kun Aguero simply cannot stop scoring, the Argentine is also nearing the wrong side of 30s. Gabriel Jesus, meanwhile, isn't a very consistent performer. Guardiola loves players who look for gaps even when they're not involved in a play, and Holland fits the mould perfectly. The Norwegian is a tireless runner and has the ability to quickly pass the ball to his teammates. Moreover, his physical attributes are an additional bonus since bullying him is not a very straightforward affair. Holland, on the other hand, might be eager to play for a team where he'll be interacting with some truly creative forces of nature in the shape of Kevin De Bruyne, Bernardo Silva and Phil Foden. Chances of this happening? As things stand, no one knows if Guardiola will prolong his sojourn in England. The Spaniard's track record is such that he doesn't like staying at a club for a long time. However, Manchester City will definitely make an approach for the teenage striker owing to the fact that they need to prepare for the future, with or without the Catalonian tactician. A Galactico then? What good is a rumour if it doesn't have Real Madrid in it? The Spanish giants are going through a period of transition. The likes of Gareth Bale, Luka Modric, Karim Benzema and Toni Kroos won't be at the Santiago Bernabeu for long. In their place, the likes of Rodrigo, Vinicius Jr, Valverde and Eden Hazard are going to shape the club's future. Luka Jovic arrived with a lot of pomp, but the Serbian has failed to settle in and might never be the potential goalscorer he was promised to be. Enter Erling Holland a true goalscorer and a player who can stamp his authority on the pitch. Despite his tender age, the youngster has already been in the thick of things and it's quite evident that he isn't phased by a big occasion. A move to Madrid will definitely cement his place as one of the greatest footballers Norway has ever produced, while also giving the striker a chance to play for a team where nothing but silverware at the end of the season is considered satisfactory. Chances of that happening? Rumours are rife that Madrid are willing to part with several key players to make room for Holland. It's also certain that Zinedine Zidane would love to inject young blood in the squad, so there is a strong chance for that to happen. A reunion with Ola? It was the Manchester United manager who gave Holland his first taste of first-team football. And speaking of which, here's your question. Do you know which club Holland was playing in where Ola Gunnar Solskjaer was his manager? Answer the question in the comments and you could win a $100 Amazon gift card. Last December, the Red Devils came very close to signing this striker only to see him sign for Borussia Dortmund instead. The residents of Old Trafford are always looking out for a potent goalscorer, so they might eventually rekindle their interest at some stage. Chances of that happening? Immediately? No. As things stand, the likes of Marcus Rashford and Anthony Martial are scoring goals regularly while Bruno Fernandes's arrival has given them another outlet. The club is allegedly closing in on Jadon Sancho, so they might not make two big money moves so soon. Furthermore, the rapid rise of Mason Greenwood means that the club isn't in dire need of a striker. However, the Red Devils would definitely return for the young striker at some point in his career, but it remains to be seen if they were too late or not.